life on the road. You betcha. We're coming to the end of our three weeks in Denmark. What a delicious set of surprises it's been for us. One of which was the introduction to a brand new concept for motorhomers and campers, offering us a chance to stay in unique places around the country. Pin Trip is very similar to the concept of France Passion and Brit Stops in the UK. You get access to 180 um, unique stopovers for a 30 euro membership fee and they offer you a chance to feel safe and also to have an experience and we've really loved the pin trip places that we've experienced and we thought we'd just show you around the ones we stayed at. If you'd like more information because you too are coming to Denmark and want to uncover the delicious delights this country has then why not google www.pintrip.eu Here's what we found. So after the joy of meeting up with Peter and Henrietta, who are the creators of Pin Trip in Denmark, uh, we've come to our first overnight stop. And here it is, Tranum Lis og Glas. Excuse my Danish accent, it really is rather rubbish, although you can see it for yourself. We thought we'd just show you around and give you an idea about what these amazing unique overnight stops are all about. Tucked up in the corner there, we have electric, we have water, I understand there are showers here as well and toilets, which I'm about to go and find out a little bit more about when I go and talk to Joanna. And here's the shop, glass and candles. This is right up my street and I really, really wanted to come to this one. I'll just uh, show you some of these gorgeous little things. They are amazing pieces of artwork. Then we go to this lovely shop. I wonder what sweetie treats there are for me here. Wow. So here we are, we're back at home. What a gorgeous stop, highly recommend this. And Iona is just a delight. What a lovely lady and a beautiful story. So come soon. We're at our second pin trip overnight stop in Denmark. And this time we've come up to Hertschel and the Bunker Museum. Whilst there aren't any signs here that actually indicate it is a pin trip stop, uh, and we couldn't find anybody to ask, we've parked up and it's half past eight at night and nobody's bothered us at all. So, and another motorhome's turned up. Um, 
So I guess we're okay. This place is great. Uh, you've got some toilets during opening hours, I guess. And then uh, in here, a little picnic room and artifacts, I'm guessing from the wall. And this is where you enter. So come on, let's go. What's that? Three euros. Hey there, Benny. Off we go. I made it. Cool. Two little vans all snuggled together. And it looks like we're about five minutes away from the ferry to Norway. And there is an air that's right down on the front with sea views, although I think you have to pay for the privilege of that. Whereas, because this is a pin trip, this one's nice and free. Welcome to Astrup and the Stoffmüller, which is our third pin trip stop. It's a tongue twister, isn't it? Pin trip stop. And uh, this is amazing. And this grassy area is actually where you can park up. And if you can see, there are some pin trip signs. Well, the guy didn't want to put us there last night because uh, because we'd had quite a lot of rain yesterday. Just down the road from the windmill, there's this delicious place, Konorup and Ko Chocolatia. We were due to stay here last night, although somebody had pinched our space. I'm about to go in and see what's on the inside. Now this, I can't wait for. Me and chocolate, I like fish and chips. They just go together. Immediately, there's some huga going on. Hey! And the lovely lady in the shop has just said I can have one of these, so I am going to partake. The lime? That's the little bit of ginger. Ginger in this one. Happy days.
how amazing was that? A nice coffee. And she's put me together a really lovely little pack. A husband and wife team who run the shop and uh, supply over 200 different uh, shops across Denmark, Sweden and Norway and just wish them the best of luck. Amazing. You've got to come here. <laughs>